Okay, we're holding 888, second paragraph. 888, second paragraph. It's interesting. You know, as you get older, you appreciate many things. We understand many things, but to be able to internalize them and it should become part of your behavior, it's not so simple. You know? Young, if it's, it's, not, it's not a big deal t to bring something about. Change is not simple. Sometimes it's, it's a lifetime to change, to have a certain sense or function where it becomes part of your natural behavior. He says, do not expect for a moment that you can achieve this unless you empty your heart from the worries of the world and its distractions. To come to Avaz Hashem, you know, whenever a person has a conflict of interest, he's disqualified from being a witness because you have a conflict. So we're speaking about Avaz Hashem to be totally imbued with love for God, where that is the driving force. But if you have worries and you have other concerns, it interferes. It doesn't happen by itself. So you have to empty your heart of other worries and other issues and other values to be able to have that, to internalize fully Avas Hashem and the values of many things. Vafilu timose, even after to test them, you have to see them as a negative. Right? A drunk, person who's drunk doesn't become sobered up until he gets all the alcohol out of his system. So to be able to be fully imbued with Avaz Hashem, all these other issues have to be emptied from one's emotion. No, nobody loves anybody more than himself. Right? That's self-love. So we have at what we need, what we want. So only once you overcome all that, then we can talk about addressing what we want to do for God. He says, if we will be embarrassed, ashamed from our Creator, and we are a sense of shame for we would not remember the love of the Creator while still drunk on the wine of love of the world. I don't know what this means. Had we a sense of shame before the Creator, we would not remember the love of the Creator while still drunk. He's saying something. He says, even if we have a sense of shame, you have a sense of shame, but when you're drunk, you have, no, you have a sense of nothing. Hear this? So if you don't have a sense of shame, you, you can imagine w where you're at. Even if you're not drunk, but factually, we're fully occupied and invested in ourselves. Therefore, we, we have no sense of the Creator. Although we know He's there, but you don't have a, a, a sense. Same story with Chatzko Levenstein. He was the Mir Mashgiach in Europe and in Shanghai. So he was already men in the 70s, upper 70s. And he was at a wedding, and he was like mumbling under his breath, you should serve God with joy and you should rejoice with trepidation, with trembling. And just kept repeating it over and over again. And he saw a young man at the wedding, a young married man, cola person, looking at him, like, you know, staring at him. So he says to him, he says to this young man looking, he says, you know, you probably think I'm, I'm senile. You know, I'm just mumbling under my breath, a posuk. He says, but what I'm saying, he says, if you'd be 100 years old, you wouldn't appreciate w the value of what I'm saying. Him, after all the years of being who he was, he was mentored in Kelm. That was the, the Musa Yeshiv in Europe. And plus, he was mentored by other great people. To be able to have the capacity to internalize something, sometimes you have to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it just to get the focus that you, it should be able to, be, to penetrate the person, to absorb it. Otherwise, we're always distracted. How do we all experience it? Say the Shemon Esrei. One day you have other things on your mind. As much as, much as you try to focus in the Shemon Esrei, you know you're saying the words, you may understand the words, but it doesn't resonate within the person when you say it. It's like you're detached. You can't get yourself going. This is a person who knows what it means to say the Shemon Esrei. In certain days you just can't get yourself there. It's the same thing. We know what something is, but to be able to have the capacity to internalize it, 
You have to literally remove yourself from whatever other distract, whatever's on your mind, whatever's in your emotion. Otherwise, it just doesn't touch you. It doesn't touch you whatsoever. That's the reason why environment is so important. To be able to do things on your own very difficult. You have to create environment. If the environment is conducive to something, it makes it a lot easier. And that's why in yeshivas, during Elul, especially before Hashanah, during Aser Samit Shuva, the whole environment is a different environment than throughout the year. The Musr, what they call the Musr Shmuz, today it's different than it was at one time. Every, every, almost every night they would have a sh uh, Shmuz in the yeshiva, maybe for an hour. And it was the whole talk was a different type of talk. And the davening was a different davening. And people t assumed certain behaviors during this time, which during the year they didn't assume. So everything in combination gave the person the greater capacity to be able to focus and relate to what he had to prepare for. I mean, the whole idea of, of slichus, four days we start before, minimally before Rosh Hashanah, is also, it's a conditioning process to give us a focus, a sense of what's about to be to prepare for the, for the Rosh Hashanah, and as I say, to prepare for, for Yom Kippur. That's what it's about. al Kane hishtadol ochi, therefore he pleads, the Chovos Levovos, my brother, take the initiative. Lefanos libcho mimenu you should empty your heart from it, from all these worries and all these other issues, as you would actually remove yourself measokov. He says, even when you're in physical seclusion, you still require spiritual isolation. Right? You can be all yourself. You can be by yourself in the room. Nobody's distracting you. But factually, you have a, you have things on your mind. You have to you have to have spiritual isolation. That within yourself, you have to be able to come upon things. Because the mind, one's mind is attached to the ongoings of the world. Even though you remove yourself from that. You know, and you're all by yourself. It's not simple. To be continued. <laughs>